we're going to have a look at how copy selection works. And a gracious thank you to Chosen Few for teaching me about this time saver back in 2004. It can be a bit mysterious, so I'm here to spread my knowledge to you. And if you find this useful, please share it with a friend. All right, so copy selection is just in the edit tools under create here. And I already have this green cube selected. You see the yellow glow? So I turn it on and now I will click on any face, any adjacent face, and it will, sure enough, whoop, let me just keep tool selected, should also be on, by the way, so that it doesn't go somewhere else. There, now I just click, and it'll make copies of it next to the faces of that. And soon enough, we have a lot of green cubes. See, easy duplication, better than Xerox, and it's in 3D. However, they're kind of misaligned, and they kind of look sloppy. So what do I want to do? I want to delete these. Let me just go ahead and clear these out of the way. And instead, I want to select center copy. This means that it'll be aligned as, let me select this, and let me go back here, center copy, and now click. And you'll notice no matter where I click on the face of this prim, it is aligned. It is perfectly centered. And this works with different combinations of objects too, by the way. You want to give that a try. And rotate copy now. What this does is if you have something that's at, uh, let's see, a rotation. So we'll rotate this about X of 45 degrees. So clearly now it's rotated. However, if I select a green cube now, and then I have rotate copy also on, and I click, it will not only copy and have it centered, it will also rotate it to match. Notice, see, it's maintaining whoop, the same rotation. If this is off, it will not have that rotation. It will have the original orientation of the original green cube. Please go ahead, give this a spin, see how that works for you.